Instagram Power P11. It's a hammer fired DASA gun. There's nothing in the chamber. The magazine is not in the weapon. Here's the magazine. It has three snap caps. This is how you carry. This is one method of carrying this gun. It's cocked and locked. Triggers cocked all the way forward. This is in single action mode. Uh, how do you know? It's 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 forward for one. As well, the hammer's all the way back. The hammer's cocked, and the slide is locked. This is a safety. So this is how you carry it in your holster. When you're ready to use the weapon, you pull it out, you disable the safety, and you're ready to go. People carry in this mode because they're not used to DA mode, which is a heavier trigger pull with the trigger being forward and the hammer being forward as well. Um, if you train for either mode, you'll be okay. Otherwise, why even have a DASA gun, in my opinion? Double action mode consists of pulling the trigger, and while you're pulling the trigger, the hammer's moving forward. That's the double in double action. Normally with most uh, hammer fire DASA guns, you carry in double action. For instance, with SIGs, because they have decockers. It's easier to get them into DA mode from SA. Um, there's a lever on the side, usually right here. You use your thumb, you actuate it, and the hammer goes forward and the trigger goes forward. The only way that gun is going to go off is if you intend for it to go off. So those types of guns with the decockers usually don't have safeties. Uh, there are some guns that actually have a safety slash decocker. The uh, Beretta PX4 Storms and some of the other guns. I believe there's a couple other guns like that as well. Okay, so right now we're simulating a live round in the chamber with the gun being in SA mode. With this this whole thing being uh, the primary carry method, since this gun doesn't have a decock. You can manually decock by doing the following. You grab, you pinch the hammer on each side with your index finger and thumb, and you hold it in place. You don't want it to go forward, because what you're going to do is you're going to pull the trigger. Normally when that happens, I'm going to show you what happens. This is normally what happens. You don't want that to happen on a live round. Remember, I don't have a live round. I have snap caps, dummy rounds. So you don't want that to happen. So this that's the reason why you're going to be pinching this, right? When you pull the trigger, you're going to hold the trigger down. You're going to notice that the, the hammer got heavy. You're easing it forward until it touches the firing pin until it's not going forward anymore then you let it go then you can let the trigger go you're now in DA mode double action how do you know it's in double action triggers all the way forward as well as the hammer all, is all the way forward this is a good way to carry because in DA mode the trigger is usually up double the weight usually double the weight of uh, single action mode remember uh, the, lots of manufacturers use that mode as the safety because there's no way in the world you're gonna pull this accidentally so there's also another way and I, you just saw it a second ago I did that accidentally but what you can do is you follow the same steps, right? You pinch the hammer and keep it from going forward when you pull the trigger. Pull the trigger and then it's, you let the hammer go forward just a tad, you hold it in place, you let go of the trigger. 
then you ease the hammer forward. And if you notice, when you ease the hammer forward, the trigger is also going forward. Now look at the hammer. Hammer isn't all the way forward. It goes as forward as possible, and then it, you know, without touching the firing pin. This is called a half cock. So, some online, uh, I guess, gun reviewers, such as Such Double Zero, um, uh, they've said that with, with this particular gun, half cock is so that. Uh, that the DA trigger pull is lessened. Um, I don't think that's the case. I've noticed between half and full, there's really no difference in trigger pull. I think half cock is there as a safety measure for decocking purposes. Remember that the only difference between going, between letting the hammer fully forward and letting it to the half cock position is the fact that when you go into half cock, you let go of the, the trigger. That enables the half cock. If you don't let it go and you hold it all the way down until the hammer is fully forward, it goes all the way forward. hammers all the way forward safety can't be actuated with half cock you can so the safety only works in half cock and full cock let's put it in half cock again so the safety is working safety is working Safety not working. What defensive rounds am I using? Winchester, white box, personal protection, jacketed hollow points, 9 millimeter, 147 grain. Now, some people will say that's range ammo. Well, I'm not sure that's the correct answer because on the back of the box, let's see, it says accurate, sure functioning and reliable center fire handgun ammunition for personal defense. The ballistics table. Let's see, uh, velocity, muzzle velocity is 990, 5 yards, at 5 yards is 985, at 25 yards is 967, the energy at the muzzle is 320, at 5 yards is 317, at 25 yards is 305. So, yeah. And these are, they're not expensive, they're not cheap. I found these online, and I also bought 200 rounds for my sister for her birthday.